Um, but she yeah, again, you can you can tell that she was supposed to be important um, because like she at the beginning she doesn't know she doesn't have like a license to drive like a uh, one of the the D wheels is what they're called. I also fucked it up, but it doesn't matter because he sucks. Um, like she could just duel like normally, which is which is fine. Um, however, she like she's like I want to learn how. I want to I want to be, you know, like you. You say I want to like ride. I want to do riding duels just like you do. And so she actually learns. She gets you say to teach teacher. Um, you get a full ring. What's that mean? What's that? What's that? Because you say to teach her about how to ride, like what to do, raises all parameters by two. Let's take off the fighter's mark. Put the full ring on. And you're like, hey, look! She, oh, this guy. Let's, uh, destroy this guy. Okay, well, he only has... Fuck. Nah, I lost my train of thought. Didn't you just do that? Okay. She learns, and uh, like there's this tournament going on, and Crow gets injured. You're like, oh fuck, he got injured. Oh shit. Like, she's gonna have to step in now. And she does. And she steps in for one fight. For one duel. One duel thing. And doesn't really accomplish anything. And then she's, like, done. But it's like she she went through all the effort to learn all this stuff, to learn how to do it, and then she's just never gonna use it in the show, except one time because she she had to. Like that really sucks. Like her it was her her development and her and her, her screen time were taken. They were stolen from her. So, yeah, that stinks. And one thing that I really liked about her was um, that, I know this is going to sound a little weird. Again, I may have talked about this before. I feel like I might have, but anyway, maybe you haven't heard it before. Um, it's that, oh, these guys are going to miss, like, all the time. Um, is that Aki? She um, she was kind of different than the rest of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Protect, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! female protagonists. Um... Like, Anzu or Teya. Teya, like, never really did anything. Um, she's just a cheerleader. I have a soft spot to Teya, though, because, you know, yeah, I like I really like the old Yu-Gi-Oh! show a lot, the original one, so I really like all the characters, even if they didn't re really, like, be useful or anything. Uh, anyway, let's get back to this. Okay. Wow, this is the Magical Furnace? Man, it's huge! Anin, you there? Who on earth would you be? How am I supposed to sleep with all this racket? Are you Anine? Anine? I haven't heard anyone call me that by that in a while. But yes, I am. I am Anine. Listen, there's something I need you to do. Put out the f uh, furnace's fire for me. What? You want me to quell the flames? Daddy's surrounded by the uh, furnace's fire. He's trapped. Daddy? Who are you, anyway? My name's Chi-Chi, daughter of the Ox King. The Ox King lives on Fire Mountain? Hmm, that's the mountain behind this one, isn't it? That must mean uh, there's a hole or something at the bottom of the furnace. Please, you gotta put out the fire. I can't do that. 
Why not? Shutting the furnace down would cause chaos both here and in the other world. Do you want that? It'd certainly be interesting to say the least, but... It caused chaos? Please, we need to put out the furnace before it's too late. You want to see the world messed up that much, do you? If that fire isn't put out, the Ox King is going to burn to death. Come on, I need to help. Save my father for me. So you want to plunge the world into turmoil in order to save a single man's life? I... Don't know, okay? Just tell me how to shut off the furnace already. Heavens, you certainly have a lot of spunk, at least. You want to shut the furnace down? Just turn that knob over there, all the way down. Uh, that'll put it out for sure, I guarantee. Before that, let me test you to see how serious you really are. Alright. Bring it on, Anine. Let's see if you can hit me. Alright, you did. But only one of your hits, though. Like, die already? Oops. At least I've got our moves down. Never mind. How much fucking... There we go. Uh, we go back to power now. Yeah. Look up, above the pot. Do you see all that steam rising up from it? Yeah? That steam turns into fog and settles at the top of the mountain. And that's where the problem lies here, Goku. Wait, what? What, the fog? Uh-huh. If the furnace shuts down, the fog's gonna disappear too. So what? The fog actually... The fog's actually the portal between this and the other world. Between this and the other world. Everyone that dies in this world goes through that fog to the other world. All people in the other world can come back through at times to see their kids and so on. But with the furnace off, the fog is going to the lift. The souls of the dead are visiting and won't be able to make it to the other world anymore. The world will be filled with wandering, vengeful souls. It'd, be, it'd plunge the entire world into a panic, don't you see? Well, why don't we just turn the furnace off for a little bit, I mean? Just enough to keep the steam from going completely away. Sorry, no dice. Why not? Once the furnace is extinguished, it takes over 2,000 years to start it up again. It'd be a dark, dark era for those millennia. Does that sound like something you want? How can- well, how can we keep the flames from shooting out of the furnace? 
Come on, you gotta help us. There has to be some way. Well, there is one method. Have you ever seen one of these before? Whoa, the Bancho fan! Wow, lady, you had it the whole time. Um, lady, you say? Listen, kid, who do you think I am, anyway? I am Anin, the Great Overseer. I have guarded this furnace for thousands of years. Goku's gonna make a joke about her being old or something. Wow, thousands of years. Man, you aren't a lady, you're an old grandma. You little brat, there are some things better left unsaid, you know. What, you want to fight me again or what? I'm already full aware of your skill by this point, thanks. Great Anine, tell us how we can save Daddy already. You'll need more than the Bancho fan to put the furnace out. You'll also need something to plug the hole at the bottom of the furnace. Oh, what? Is that it? We'll go fetch it, whatever it will, we'll go fetch whatever you need. I'm afraid what we need is not easily so easily uh, easily attain obtainable. It's not? So what is it then? The bottom of the furnace is made from the shells of the eggs laid by the fire eater bird. The fire eater bird? That's right, so we'll need a shell to plug the hole with. And we'll need honey from an oct octagonal oct Octagonal? I I'm gonna say octagonal. It sounds weird though. I know I know it like an octagon, yeah, eight sided thing, yeah. We need honey from an octagonal beehive to hold the shell in place too. Why does it that why does that word sound weird to me? I don't know why. Wow, so an eggshell and some honey, huh? So where can we find these things, Anine? The fire eater bird lives on Kiwi Volcano, I think. As for the honey, uh... As for the honey? I've forgotten. I haven't need needed any for thousands of years, you see. I'd be willing to bet Master Roshi would know, though. Oh, you mean the turtle hermit? Alright, I'll go off and find that shell and the honey for you. Good, try to be as quick as you can about it. We'll need those two things before we can do anything else. Okay. Where's the Kiwi Mountain? Divine Crossing, no. Bump Forest. Mount Pows. Let's just talk to Master Roshi. Hey, hey, Turtle Hermit! Could you tell me where there's an eight-sided beehive at? Ah, Goku, what on earth have you been up to? Ah, I see. Well, I heard there's a lady named Hakake who collects that honey. She lives near Mount Frap. Frappe? Eh? Thanks, Pops. Guess that's where I'm going next. Chichi, you better stay here. Ow. Goku? I can't imagine what kind of danger I'm going to be facing from here on in. I can't afford to have you exposed to all of that. Okay, but you're sure you're going to be okay by yourself, Goku? No problem, I can handle this search easy. Wait! Huh? I heard the whole story, Goku. If Chi Chi's dad's in trouble, there's no way I'm not gonna help, too. Hey! I'm not gonna let you hog all the limelight. Take me along, too, Goku. Krillin and Yamcha? Well, sorry, guys, but. Hold on a minute, Goku. You better not be forgetting about me. Tien. Right, let's get moving. There isn't a single moment to waste. 
fire eater bird shell and some honey, eh? It'll be a cinch with all of us helping. You can now view your S-combos via the crystal ball in the menu. This S-combo dictionary lets you view all of the S-combo notes you've acquired. These notes contain hints on how you can put S-combos together into bigger combos. There are S-combo notes hidden all around the world. Try to find them all. Okay, and now we've got... Wow. They know exactly what they're doing. They immediately put Yamcha to the side. Uh... Sure, why not? Let's just go with that for now. Okay, now. Kiwi Volcano. Let's do there. Although. Just to put something on him, I guess. Alright, Goku. Gives you a large evade boost for several turns. What does this do? The effect goes up. As in, I don't know, I wish it leaned... Does that mean it lasts for more turns? Because that's pretty good. I'm just going to do critical up just because I want to. Do I have something that for 200? I could do key up, or I could do rage gauge up, make your rage fill up faster. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, let's get to work. Magman. Oh, whoops. Okay, I've gotten so used to only having to worry about one character. Alright, I think getting back into the groove here. Now does... Yeah, Yamcha does get experience, but a little bit less. But Yamcha is, like, higher level than the other two, so it's fine for now. I got a hot capsule? What does that do? It's not actually a capsule, though. Okay. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Ow, yep. Ow, 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 ow. Oh yeah, that's bad. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad.
Oh, Yamcha takes the damage too? So hopefully Goku can just kill. Alright, we're good to go. Poison card. What if, like, you go all that way and it's just like, here, here's the thing to avoid taking fire damage. Occasionally poison enemies at the start of battle. Stand by, no effect. Hmm. That sucks. I'm out. But hopefully we'll be okay, though. Maybe I won't have to walk on any more fire. Oh, I have to unlock Destructo Disc. Oh, I should have done that. I'll remember. Tien's got all this shit. Oh, I need to I need to capture enemies, I forgot about that. Okay. Higher chance of success on weakened enemies. I think it's weak. Nope. Not weak enough. See how this works. Got him. Okay. And Tien leveled up, so he's good. All right. So for Tien, I was doing yeah power and technique, but I should also let's get it luck. Let's get that luck up. We'll be fine. We'll probably level up or something. Oh, look at this guy. Regular attacks and TN. Do we like have the do we have like the reason for doing this right now or like no? Oh fuck we killed him. Let me check.
Yeah, okay, it says right there I have 1 out of 150. So I might have... No. Where is it? Okay, it just has a little thing by it, so like saying that I have. All right, fire caterpillar has 450, 320, 220. Okay, I'll try to remember those. Oh no, I've made a grave mistake. Mummies? Okay. Okay, well, an attack from all three of them will kill. Hmm. How about this? Okay. What? Oh, I, I did. Oh, oh, Goku was already guarding, so. Alright, got him. Don't have to worry about the mummies now. And these guys have 220, which means about Okay, I think Krillin... Ah, that wasn't enough hits, Krillin. Damn it. Sorry, I just thought I got a comment on, on a video. You guys can't see it, but I can. Um, well, Goku will be okay. Goku... Okay, well, we can kill one of them. And Tien... Let's just go for a quick combo. Let's just make sure we, we can kill one of them, because we only need to capture one of them, so... Krillin and Goku, Tien Yiko. Fuck, no, that was too much. Alright. Gosh. They're so weak. Can't do anything with them. I was going with power and defense. Let's just stick with. Let's just go. Let's just do what we're doing with Goku. Power, defense. Oh, no, 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 no. Defense, recovery, and technique for Krillin. Let's start with technique. Goku, I think we just did power? So, defense now. Okay. In case, once I do this fireplace, I'm gonna have to, uh... 
Okay. Now again, we're just gonna go with the... Kill one of them. Okay, 70. Now Goku. And that killed one of them. Okay. Tien did about a hundred damage. Tien, you just attack again. Okay, I think he's perfect. He's ripe for... And I can't use it. Okay. I wonder if you can tell by the way that the pot jiggles around if you're going to catch him or not. Also, hang on. Uh, that's fine. We can still leave Yamcha out. Once Krillin levels up, though, I'll swap Yamcha in. Uh, okay. I guess you need to let me know uh, something here. Um, do you want me to try and capture all the enemies on screen, or do you want me to go through a place... Um, just like normally, um, without trying to capture enemies, and then later do it, like, um, do it off screen. Because I, I kind of want to, uh, get all the, the enemies into the jar. I can't get up here, right? No, I can't. Okay. For right now, I'll try and do it. Actually, no, I won't, because they're kind of dead. Actually, how weak is Tien? Tien is very weak, so we're gonna guard. Okay, Yamcha leveled up, so never mind. Krillin, you get to stay in for probably even longer. Yamcha. Okay, Yamcha is power. I think Yamcha will probably get enough speed on his own. Maybe power, technique, and luck. Because Yamcha needs to be able to hit. He can't. If he has all that power and no like technique, he's going to suck. Uh, so we'll start off on Technique for Yamcha. I'm not gonna be able to remember all of these characters, I know. Like, it's gonna- it's gonna be awful. Phoenix Feather, okay. So as I was saying about- Cold Boots! Oh, there they are! Okay, that's gotta be it. This'll make things, like, good, right? We don't need the Rice Cooker. Wait, no. We don't need the Gas Mask. Cold Boots. Racist Fire Resistance makes um, fire floor is safe. Thank you. Now, does it only make them 50% more safe here? Or, like, does it only... Does the 50% only apply to the in battle? Like, it's... It only raises fire resistance by 50% in battle. We got the mummy, right? Did we get the mummy? I don't remember if we got the mummies or not. We got the mummies. Yeah. 
Got the fucking mummies. Ken's gonna level up after this probably, so it'll be fine. Okay. So as I was saying about Aki, now I feel a little better because we can walk on the fire. Um. Oh damn, Krillin! What was I saying about Aki? I don't even remember. Oh, gosh, what was Tien on? Now nah, and I can't remember. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna try and raise his luck again to make sure that thing worked. He gets a good enough amount of technique already, so he's all right. There was something. that one, and this guy's got like 330 HP or something. So he's about half dead now. Oh no, I didn't quite kill him. Okay, Krillin, you go after him. Yeah, okay, that'll good. That'll work. Nope, he's dead. God damn, you Goku, you're too strong. Let's see. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. It's gotta be fully fire caterpillar. That sounds like a Mega Man villain, like a Mega Man X. I guess we can just raise the fire resistance, because everything in here uses fire. If this thing lives... Okay. Let's try and capture the caterpillar. Alright, let me, let me watch the wiggling of the pot. I think we got it. Okay, I think I know what it looks like now. Got the ca capitiller. Yes, it's so nice to be able to walk on the floor. Confrontation brace. That sounds like equipment. It makes enemies target you more often. Uh, no. Not quite. Okay, he's dead. Okay, I think he's good to go. Nope. No. Okay. Uh, Krillin, you attack. Not not good enough, Krillin. Try try again. Oh no! Too good, Krillin. I need to raise your technique, because you miss a lot. Okay. And we already got you. We don't gotta worry about you anymore.
Had to go after Tien, huh? I can't really concentrate on whatever it is I was talking about, and I can't go past that. Oh, would you fancy that? Look at that. This fucking thing. Okay. Okay, well now he took- he stole HP, because now, now I don't know what to do. Everybody just regular attack. He did it again! Ah, oh, god! I can't figure that guy out. Pretty sure I'm on technique now for Goku. just do this? Well, anyway. <laughs> I always say that, and then, and then something happens, like I get into a fight with this same fucking guy, but I'm right next to a save point, so... I'm gonna get this weird cell creature, I swear. Whoops, I thought they were done. Come on. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Alright. Finally. Jeez. Of course I'm gonna fucking save after that. Let's fight- oh, wait, no, oh, it's not a boss yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. power to 30. I can break rock, correct? I can break, no, I cannot break that rock. 
Uh oh. Well, now I have to get rid of these. Now you were able to see them. <sighs> Got two comments, so. Eh. One of them was from. Ah, uh, goodness. Uh, I remember having difficulty whatever, saying whatever it is your name is, like Telemachus or something. But you aren't going to watch this anyway, so it doesn't matter. So you won't even be here. You won't even know that I said your name wrong. So I don't even know why I'm bothering explaining it. At least I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe the Team 4-star Let's Play will get boring, but probably not, because there's two people. And they can actually work off of each other and make, you know, jokes and funny commentary, unlike me. I just have myself. Psych, 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 psionic bracelet? Okay, what the hell is that? What is a psionic bracelet? Absorb key damage from enemies and refill a lid of your key. That's going on TN! Gives you a chance to avoid instant kill attacks. Let's just take on the little peon first. Yeah, basic attacks are pretty good. Alright, let's actually... We're gonna swap out Krillin. Get in there. Yamcha. And then equipment here. Yamcha could... Yeah, let's have him go after Yamcha more often. That's alright. Uh, so really, we have nothing to put on Yamcha. Hang on, let's actually go to our skills and think about it. Because, yeah, we, I, can, I can upgrade a few things here. I use Goku's combination a lot. Let's, let's, let's upgrade it. Yeah. Now for Krillin. Krillin, can I afford Destructo Disc? I can. I want to, yes. We need Destructo Disc. Destructo Disc is amazing on Krillin. Okay. And I also use uh, TN Spears attack, so we're gonna get just a level two of our basic techniques here. Yamcha already has the. No, he does not. I upgraded all that stuff. I, I wanted to make sure his accuracy was good. So for Yamcha, I'll upgrade the Wolf Hurricane. All right, we'll party with Yamcha for a bit here. Moral of the story is, guys. Aki. She was hot. She dueled. Oh yeah, I was talking about her difference between her and the other ones, because Taya didn't do anything. Alexis was stupid and not important to the plot, didn't contribute anything. She was a duelist, yes, she could handle herself, but did we see that all the time? No. She would just, like, be in duels like, hey, if you lose to me, sister, like, actually, that's what that was her brother talking, uh, then we have to go into show business. Or... If you lose to me, Alexis, or Asuka, whatever you want to call her, then you have to go on a date with me, you know, stuff like that. Exciting, right? No. Um, so, Aki actually had a bit more, like, point. She actually was important. And, um, uh, also, at least for the first two. I don't know, I haven't seen the, uh, the, the two Yu-Gi-Oh! series that followed after. Uh, 5Ds, so I don't know if this is true for the characters in that, but the female duelists, my also my sucked because she like didn't learn anything. She like would like learn a lesson and then forget it immediately and repeat the exact same mistake, and it was frustrating and it sucked. 
Um, I know that Krillin is really, really wanting to talk about this egg, but um, I'm going to hold off still. I want to get this thought out of here. All right. So, you know, like, Taya, she used, like, Taya, Mai, and Alexis, they all used, like, this is just something I noticed. It's not something, that's not, like, a, this isn't, like, a problem, but, like, they all used, like, like, female, like, monsters, or, like, like, kind of cutesy kind of cards. Um, like, all of them, like, Alexis had, like, the, the cyber tutu and whatever, I guess Taya had, like, the friendship and things, whatever. Mai had the harpy ladies and all that. She also had a dragon, but, like, you know. They were all, like, female monsters, and it's like, oh, okay, so what? They use female monsters because they're females, so they have to use female monsters? Like, that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It just kind of seemed, like, so obvious, you know? Like, Yugi had, like, Dark Magician Girl, Queen's Knight, all this. You know, he had female monsters in his deck and everything. Female, male, monster, beast, whatever. Um, Aki, though, well, she did have some witches in her deck. The cards that I remember most are, like, these, like, like gross, ugly, like, tree root things. Like, she had, like, a, like, a, like, a witch kind of deck, like a, but not, like, like, she uses witches. She doesn't, she did have, like, few, but, like, she had, like, gross-looking, like, plant creatures. So, like, it was different. Like, I, I liked that, you know, and, and Black Rose Dragon, I think that's what it's called, was pretty fucking cool, so, I like Aki. Right, what you can get from all this, I really like, I really like uh, Jessica Albert. She's amazing. I love her. She's my, she's awesome. Uh, and then a lower tier, we've got you know we got Makoto, we got Aki. I like I like them. Uh, that's 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 the main point, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to bring this full circle. Look at this. I can move my mouse around with a little pad on my PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah, I'm not using a. DS to play this game. Oh, fuck, fuck me, right? Okay. Alright. Whoa, so this is a fire eater bird's egg. Great, now we just need to take the shell back. Well, you better hurry. I'm getting worried about the Ox King. Yeah, there's this fucking asshole who's wasting time by talking about fucking females in anime. That's, that's what I picture Goku's face looking at me like, it's like, my father-in-law's gonna die. What are you doing? Oh! Oh, look! Oh! Hey, who are you? The rightful owners of that egg! I'm honestly astounded you actually found an egg from that bird. Sorry, pal, but we're taking that sucker shell and all! My, we got a bit of a problem. What's that, Shu? The bomb is stuck to my hand. Hey, hey, it's you! Quit messing with us, you're never gonna let- you, we're never gonna let you have it. Oh, there's someone you wanna meet before you start going off like that. Man feared in every corner of the dark underworld, oh god. Robbery? Murder? Speeding? Extortion? Pickpocketing? Dine and dash? Rape? <laughs> oh, well, maybe not that last one. He'll do anything, anything for money. Uh, his name is none other than Emperor Pilaf. Okay. Oh great, it's him. Huh? You know him? Well, look at this! What a fine egg I see here! It's only the one of its kind in the world. I could sell it for a hundred millions any easy. And with that kind of cash, my dreams of the world conquest will finally become real. I didn't know Shu had dreams of world conquest. Yeah, <laughs> this egg is mine, all mine. If you value your life, give me that egg. I cannot do Chuck Huber. Apparently, Yamcha is the only one in this fight. When we want something, we get it, and that's that. Ah, uh, wait, Emperor Pilaf. Am I going at it alone here? 
Of course you are. Go now. Ah. Oh. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Um, we'll Fang Fist, why not? And since there's two other people to take hits for me, Goku, you do not need to set up the after image technique, it's fine. Let's just smack him. Yeah, that's good shit. Let's try Kamehameha. And a multi-form tech attack. Whoa, shit. Way faster than last time. Oh yeah, we need to raise that accuracy of yours, Yamcha. Okay, I think there's like a, like a, if we do Kamehameha, Kamehameha, and Tri-Beam, I think it's like a, like a turtle, turtle crane, uh, attack, maybe? Or maybe it's, maybe it's Kamehameha, Kamehameha, multi-form attack. Let's just try this. Oh, alright. Let's see how much damage you get. I'm just coming, coming. It's pretty weak, yeah. Oh, it was everybody. Well, hey, at least Yamcha guarded. All right, coming, coming, ha, coming, coming, ha, and we'll try multi-form. Nope. All right, that's not it. All right, I'll just do regular like Earthling. Well, actually, it's not even Earthling strike. I hope they have a thing together. Actually, wait, I do know of one, but I would have to swap out Tien for Krillin. That way we could do a triple Kamehameha. I know we can do that one. It's not like I'm not doing damage, though, so we're fine. Okay, well, Yamcha's... Yamcha's been hurt here. Let's just heal a bit. Okay. Alright. Can this be something at least? Yep, okay. Hyper Rush. It's just a very basic one. Get resisted. I don't think you can capture bosses. Pretty sure that's not a thing. Come on, man. I feel like we'll kill him in this turn. We've done a pretty good amount of damage to him. Ah, damn. Too slow. Let's get him with a Kiko hole! Yeah, we got him. Yeah, even Krillin will level up from this. Okay, so Yamcha. Yamcha... Technique. Gosh, he misses so much. I'm gonna raise his technique. I'll have to break from the from my method a little bit. Okay. I don't remember. But technique is the lowest for right now. So we'll go with technique. It'll be fine. Again, I can mess up. 
and like do the wrong thing, like out of order, it's fine. Or Tien. Let's try and get that luck to at least 30. Okay, Krillin, it's defense, recovery, and technique. 